In this video, I'm going to show you how to share your custom GPTs that you created in your personal chat GPT workspace over to your team workspace. This is going to be really important if you have a team of people that you're working with and you need to be able to collaborate on projects inside chat GPT. I will tell you that the way that the team workspace is designed now, and this is being recorded on November 26, 2024, um, it's trash. It is an absolute nightmare for collaboration. The way that it's designed, even if you move all of your custom GPTs over to the new workspace, which they make absolutely not easy for you to do at all, um, when your team members log into the team workspace, they won't be able to see any of the GPTs that you've pinned or any of the conversations that you've started unless you explicitly share those conversations with them. So I'm going to walk you through the entire process. It is a workaround and hopefully they will make some upgrades to the team space to make it a lot more collaborative. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your my gpt space so where all of your gpts are and you want to find the gpt that you want to share into the workspace so we're going to use this one as an example now what you want to do is you want to make sure that the share option is either in the gpt store or it says anyone with a link okay so if it doesn't say that you're going to need to edit it so that it actually does say that even if you only do it just for the purposes of this um it's something that you need to do otherwise you won't be able to share it okay so from there you want to go ahead and grab the link and then you're going to go into your team workspace okay so now we're in the team workspace once you're in your team workspace you're going to open up a new browser and then you're going to open up that GPT, paste that link into a new browser. And what this should do is it will now open it up inside your team workspace. OK, so now you can see it inside your team workspace. So what you want to do is you want to come up here to this drop down and you're going to pin it right here keep on the sidebar so now it's right here so now it's pinned okay now what you want to do is you want to actually start a conversation with the custom gpt right so i'm gonna say um hi i need to create a lead magnet okay because this is our our lead magnet creator okay now you don't have to do anything outside of this. I'll just say, um, I'll just say perfect flow funnels. You don't have to go through the entire process. You just need to go through enough of the process where it actually starts a conversation um, and it saves that conversation, okay? Now, why this conversation isn't popping up over here, I have no idea, but what I'm just gonna do is just, I'm just gonna refresh the page, okay? So now we've got a conversation here that says lead magnet creation. OK, now remember your team, even though you've pinned these custom GPTs here, your team will not be able to see this at all. So what you will need to do is you'll need to click over here. In the options for the conversation. And you're going to click share. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab this link and you are going to give that link to the members of your team. OK. And you, here's what you're going to tell them to do. The, the first thing they need to do is they need to log into the team space and they need to basically follow the same instructions that you did. So they need to log into the team space. Then they need to open up a brand new browser, pop that link into the brand new browser, and it will open up the conversation. When it opens up the conversation, they will now be able to collaborate in that conversation. And they will also have the option of pinning it, of pinning the GPT to their sidebar, okay? Now, one of the things that you're going to have to do is you are going to have to set a precedent that any work that is done in your space has to be shared with you and 
everyone else on the team who's supposed to be collaborating on that project or who's supposed to be able to get access to whatever the output is from that custom GPT. So that is going to have to be a rule that you set for your teams. Otherwise, if your teams are having conversations with your custom GPTs, you will not be able to see them. And this is going to be really, really important, especially if you are working with people who are freelancers, because what you don't want is a situation where they are using your GPTs that you have created to produce outputs for your specific business to do work for other business owners who don't have their own custom GPTs. And they'll be able to do that and you won't see it unless you set a precedent that every conversation that takes place in the workspace must be shared with you. And the other thing with that is that you also have to make sure that you are working with people who you really, really trust because I'm not a fan of micromanagement. You know, I just, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't like that style of management. Um, and at the same time, because the team workspace doesn't give me the option to see the work that's being done in the workspace that I am paying for, um, that's kind of how it has to be done, okay? So that is how you can share your custom GPTs from your personal workspace into your team workspace. Now, let me, let me go ahead and add this too. There is an option when you set up the team workspace to merge your personal workspace with your team workspace. If you do that, what will happen is you will lose your personal account and everything will be set up in the team account. So that's the first thing. Everything will be set up in the team account. If you choose to close the team workspace, you will also lose all of the information that you've been working on in your personal space. So yes, for me, it makes more sense to just pay for both workspaces. So I will pay for my personal workspace and I will also pay for my team workspace. That way, things that I am working on that are more private, I can keep that in a completely separate space. Even though the team won't be able to see it, I just don't want to pull that information over into the team space. And I'm not going to merge both accounts and risk losing all of my personal memory and all of my personal data and all of that work that I've been you know, working on and the relationship that I've been building with that particular model to bring it over here to the team space. Okay. So if that's how you want to do things, you will need to pay for two different spaces. Okay. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.